Mrs. Retallick created two distinct environments for her test plants. Water levels were kept the same in both. Temperature and lighting were identical. Only one element was different. Semi-classical music was played into one. Hard rock into the other. In the chamber with soft music, the plants leaned toward the speaker, seeming to draw strength from the melodious sound. away and eventually died. Time-lapse photography represents the reactions of the plants over several days. The results are unmistakable. Test conditions could only mean that it was the quality of the music, not the volume, that determined the reaction of the plants. The plants, it seems to me, are trying to tell us something. If plants hear, how do they hear? Certainly there's nothing in the plant world like the human ear and mind, but perhaps there's something else. A way of hearing that doesn't involve receiving and interpreting sound waves. What we call a sound wave is merely one form of energy, but scientists know that energy takes many forms. Cleve Baxter has spent more than 25 years researching the behavior of plants. All right, now we're going to use a pair of electrodes that are regularly used on people, but now are mounted between this C-clamp. Baxter is a polygraph expert and has conducted lie detector tests for the Army and the CIA. The polygraph is essential to his work with plants. This is a conventional piece of polygraph equipment of which we're using only one-third, the galvanic skin response section. Now I'm going to activate the chart drive on the equipment and turn up the sensitivity and balance in the plant between these electrodes. Now, the tracing we're getting now uh, represents the plant. He calibrates the machine, this time in hope of achieving a response from the plant to the cutting of Kay's hand with a scalpel. You got a hand this pair? Right here? All right. Now, what I'm going to do is just to cut a little bit here. When you feel this, uh, the thing that was going fairly calm is now going pretty well. I think the plant is tuned into your apprehension pretty nicely. Now let's see if it's tuned into this. Now I'm going to put some iodine in there. This time, the results were positive. The plant has reacted in some way. Baxter can only conclude that it is a reaction to the pain felt by another living thing. 